Rise and Shine Eagles. I'm Teron with today's day of October 19, 2023. Also known as National Black Cat Day, which we help celebrate and promote the adoption of black cats. Here at GJ, our mission here is to be prompt, polite, and prepared, and our goal is to have every student graduate with the skills necessary to be successful in their college or career. Now get ready, Eagles, because ENN starts now. According to adoptingapet.org, cat adoption rates has been very consistent throughout 2022 to 2023, with 37% of cats being adopted year end. Thankfully, we'll be having a feature story from Cadence about Frankie and the conspiracies of black cats and to highlight the uniqueness and the beautiness of them. When you think of October, what do you think of? Most likely Halloween, pumpkins, ghosts, ghouls, and black cats. And because of this, people may feel more inclined to adopt black cats during this month. But this can lead to mistreatment and abandonment of the animals. So some shelters enforce policies when it comes to adopting black cats. So we got a volunteer from the SPCA to go more in depth. Well, in the past, some shelters have prohibited the adoption of black cats during the month of October, uh, just with the whole superstition of black cats and the fear that they could be used as props or decorations during Halloween. Uh, but the SPCA in Florida, uh, we ensure that all adopting parents understand that this is a lifelong commitment and we do not prohibit the adoption of black cats during the month of October. Actually, during the beginning of October, we were offering a promotion where cats above the age of two years uh, were able to be adopted for $30. We also offer a adoption discount of 50% off for our senior cats, and those are cats that are seven and plus. Thanks, for Christina, for clearing up all the black cat adoption policies in the SPCA. Until next time, I'm Timothy reporting for ENN. Thank you, Cadence, for that amazing package on the Frankie. It got me thinking I really should go adopt a dog. But speaking of adopting a dog, let's go over to Sean for giving us some commercial on adopting a dog instead of buying one. Thank you, Sean, for giving us a commercial about adopting a pet instead of buying one. Now, let's go over to Chandler to see what's been happening at GJ. Good morning, Eagles. It's Chandler. Lately, there's been a lot going on around campus. Luckily, I'm here to fill you in. Next week is Halloween Spirit Week. Eagles, remember to show off your Eagle pride by dressing up for more Spirit Weeks. Recently, we had our senior night for the Lady Eagles volleyball team. Congrats, seniors. Well, Eagles, thanks for tuning in for the campus happenings. Remember, it's been Chandler for ENN. Thank you, Chandler, for giving us a better insight about the Veterinary Academy, and I cannot wait to see what they have to help improve our community and what they have to do towards the animals. Now, let's go over the announcements. AT meets every Tuesdays from 2 to 2.30 in room 2223. The next NHS meeting will be held on the second week of November on November 6th inside of the auditorium from 2 to 2.30. Well, Eagles, this comes to an end to our show, Rise and Shine to Sun Down. I'm Teron, signing off of ENN.